What's up, y'all? This your girl, Ms. Maggie T with the Atlanta Falcons Nation. If you're new to the channel, I want you to hit that subscribe button so you won't miss another post from me. But let's go ahead and get into it. It looks like um, the Falcons did go out to North Dakota State to visit quarterback Trey Lance's second pro day. And reportedly, we had lengthy talks with Trey Lance's coaches while we were there. Now, does that mean that we are, you know, very interested, intrigued in keeping it at quarterback at four? Or is it just likely that the Atlanta is just sending some scouts over to the pro days in an effort to entice some other team to help its move um, to number four, you know, and get their quarterback of choice? Who's to say? But the Broncos have definitely clearly stated that they are interested in trading up with the Falcons for um, Trey Lance or Justin Fields. Now, you know, what do you do in this position? May the best man win or do you trade back? We don't know, but... Um, Trey Lance started just 13 games in college and his team played only um, one game in 2020 so he is generally considered more likely than the other top prospects to need a year or two of seasoning before stepping to the starting lineup. Now Lance's skill set and potential fits in Arthur Smith's offense so it will be a smart move to grab him you know um, now as well as you know Matt Ryan is, isn't going anywhere anytime soon, but he's all the Falcons have right about now. You know, Ryan restructured his contract this offseason, creating some needed cap space for Atlanta while pushing even more dead money into the future. His cap hit is more than $40 million each in 2022 and 2023. And so it's, it's just really hard to move him. Still, the Falcons, um, at the very least, need quarterback depth, you know? So... We don't have backups right now. That's a need, you know? So where do we grab him is the question, you know? But it has to be addressed, people. And Atlanta Falcons Nation, we never said that we don't want them drafting a the quarterback. It's just be smart with where you pick him, you know? And if he gets picked at four, I'm still ride or die Atlanta Falcons, you know? But there are consequences to that. We will have to get rid of certain players, you know, that's holding on to contracts as well. Now, of course, that number four pick is a prime spot, definitely. And, you know, other teams are knocking at our door. So, you know, you never know what we're going to do. But they are definitely hush-hush about it. But um, Arthur Blank is fascinated by that quarterback spot, you know, um, with the draft picks that we have. And he's also thinking that this franchise may not be in this position again to be in that number four spot. So... You know, because we plan on winning this season and contending each year where we won't have this opportunity again. What do you do with it? Blank just will not force a decision, though. You know, he hired Terry and Office Smith um, to make those decisions. So it's whatever they decide. And he just won't um, bigfoot them on their first big call. He's going to give it up to them, you know, so we'll see you know we'll see how that goes now yes we need quarterback but there are other draft needs that we definitely need such as edge you know Atlanta has had issues finding consistent quality pass rush and you know the Falcons could find help here and add more draft capital by trading out that number four pick which is something I think they should do um, of course, they made a lot of moves uh, with their defensive ends and outside linebackers this offseason, but they don't have the money to find a top-tier pass rusher in free agency. So we will have to make an effort in the draft, even though they've struggled here for quite some time, you know, with the other coaching. And you know, we ain't going to go there. But you know how that, that draft, those drafts went. We also need secondary. The Falcons are young at safety and cornerback, and investing draft capital in the secondary won't help. But they don't have many other choices after parting ways with Ricardo Allen, Keanu Neal, and DeMonte Casey this offseason. You know, safety Eric Harris will add a veteran presence, but the Falcons need to fill out the secondary in the draft, especially at safety. Um, a young group will just get even younger, of course. We also need offensive line. The Falcons added a little dip by um, signing Josh Andrews um, in free agency and signing Matt Gono to a second round tender, but depth could be an issue. And the Falcons have to build for the future. 
Andrews and Gano could be gone in 2022. And if Atlanta doesn't address the line in 2021 draft, they could be in bad position for um, 2021 and beyond. We also need a running back as well. No longer as a pressing a need after the Falcons sign Mike Davis in free agency. You know, Davis will go a long way to filling the void left by free agent departures, you know, Todd Gurley and Brian Hill. But is Davis ready to be a lead back for a full season? You know, he looked great in relief of Christian McCaffrey with the Panthers, but being running back one for an entire year is a big task for a player who has never carried such a load. And the Falcons could add depth here, though it might not be until later in the draft. So once again, trading back. You know, so those are some of the things that the Falcons have. And of course, we are still addressing smaller positions and things, you know, other positions um, in this free agency leading up to the draft. And of course, we have about nine picks to go from as well as we trade back. We could possibly get more, you know, so, you know, I need to hear your opinions. What do you think is the best decision for the Falcons with this scenario? You know, I kind of talked about it just a little bit, you know. Considering our cap space and everything else, um, do you think there's going to be another cut coming? You know, and we got about, what, nine days away from the draft. It's getting close to the wire. And that fourth pick is getting hotter and hotter, people. You know, we got the magic ticket right about now. But that's all I got for you guys. Um, so go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Let me know what you think and get ready for that draft show. I don't think we're going live tonight, but, you know, um, if anything else breaks, we will come back to you or catch us on Friday, people. And I appreciate you guys. We are the nation. And I'm out. Peace.